This episode of Hack Tip is brought to you by Opt Genie. Your next incident doesn't stand a chance. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morrison. Today, we are adding live data to our shell functions in our script. Now, this script is getting better and better with each change, and we are now ready to introduce the first live information that can be used to manage this computer. Yay! Now, when writing this, think about how you could use the same context to get, for example, reporting on a series of machines, say at a school, for example, or track uptimes of storage devices on your network. The possibilities are endless. Okay, on to today's tutorial. So go ahead and open up your script using gedit. Now we're going to add some data based on those commands that we learned in the past couple of weeks. Now uptime is first, and this command is used to track your machine's uptime, and that will be found up here, right here. Then we have the disk space utilization, which shows you the space on your entire disk. That's located right here. And then home space, which is going to show you the space used on home, right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and write it out, so feel free to follow along, and then I will explain what I did. Make it a little cleaner. You'll notice that capitalization is also important with these kind of things. For example, that does not work. However, a capital zero does, or a capital O. <laughs> Okay, so all I did up here is, remember when we were making those here docs? So each of these is a here document, right here, right here under report disk space, if I can grab it correctly, there we go, and then right under home space. So each of these is a here doc, starting with cat and then ending with that end of file. Inside of each of the here docs, first we have a header that simply says system uptime, disk space utilities, or home space utilization, and then it calls a specific parameter. So first we have this one, which is looking for uptime, which is a command that you can run in the terminal. Then we have this one, which is dftach, which is also a command you can run in the terminal. And then the last one is du space dash sh and then forward slash home forward slash asterisk which is lastly of course another command that you can run in the terminal these last two will call information about the disk space so first you have the disk space about the whole computer then you have disk space specifically about home and then any other directories that are located within home now when i run this each of these report uptime, report disk space, and report home space should show up right here. So it'll say this is a body text and then it'll show me the uptime, the disk space, and the home space. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a BR here. Hopefully this works from my memory. I believe BR is how you ended an HTML doc. I haven't ran HTML in a long time. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and save your file, go ahead and close out, and then go ahead and turn it into HTML. And once you are done, we are going to run the file right after the break. The holidays are upon us, and if you run an online business, you know how important this part of the year is. You need to make sure your platform, your services, and your systems are ready for an influx of customers. But here's the thing, incidents are going to happen at any time, anywhere, and you wanna make sure that your company responds quickly and efficiently to unplanned issues by coordinating between your unsung heroes, those ops and those software dev teams. So getting alerts immediately is critical when an incident occurs, and that's why there's Ops Genie 
by Atlassian. Ops Genie empowers your team to plan for service disruptions, stay in control, and it helps to notify all the right people through scheduling and escalation paths that take into account things like time zones and holidays. Deployment and scheduling of alerts is totally flexible, and it's supported by over 200 integrations like Jira, Amazon CloudWatch, Datadog, and more. Ops Genie can also help your team learn how to improve future incident responses with the built-in tracking and insights. Now, if your admin, Alex, for example, is still in a turkey coma from Thanksgiving, she's not answering her email, and you have a server down, Ops Genie will take that into consideration by alerting Mary instead, and your customers are happy because of that fast response time. Planning before an incident is crucial. And with Ops Genie, your next incident does not stand a chance. Visit OpsGenie.com to sign up to get a free company account and add up to five team members, no credit card required. That's OpsGenie.com. Never miss a critical alert with Ops Genie. All right, we are now back. So let's go ahead and run our script in Firefox. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and I'm typing in sysinfo, turning it into HTML as usual and hitting enter. Oh, interesting. If I run this command, I get an error. But wait, look at this. Now it tells you which line your error is on. So we have line 19 and it says uh, command not found, so dftechh. And then we have do cannot read directory home snubs dbus permission denied. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we know where that command shows up in the script so we can open it again with gedit and then edit out uh, with comments because we're going to fix this part next week and then this one I think I just need a space between df and tech h. Okay, so I added my space in there. We'll see if that works. If it doesn't, I'll just change it back and see if it actually works that time. I'm also getting rid of that comma that I had in there that might have affected it. And I'm going to comment out the home space part because we are going to come back to that next week. Okay, that's commented out. And then this part right here, I'm just going to replace that with report home usage goes here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save it now and close out. Okay, now it works. So whatever I changed in line 19, getting rid of that comma right there and then adding a space and then uh, changing this so that it's just all commented out seemed to work. So let's go ahead and open up Firefox. And what do we have? Cool. I'll make this a little bit bigger so everybody can see what's going on here. So we have live data from our computer. So this is reported data as of this timestamp. So this is the timestamp on this user account. So first we have the system uptime. So we can see my computer's been on for 19 days. Don't judge me. I never turn it off. That's really bad. I know it should, but I just don't. And then we have disk space utilities. And this includes information down here about how much disk space has been used. I really need to get around to fixing that right there. See that 100% percent on boot that's good information to know I should probably fix that <laughs> so that'll be another thing that I do in the future <laughs> and then once we fix the permissions issue with the report home usage that will go right here that is really cool now a few pro tips this obviously did not work because the home directory has specific permissions so our script needs to run in super user and i'm going to show you how to do that on a future episode also this is all working as planned but sometimes you need to add local variables now variables so far are global meaning that the entirety of the program can use them you can also build local variables too that are only used inside of shell functions that they are running inside they are ignored by everything else now if if you need to use a local variable, you can add them super easily by uh, inside of your shell functions by beginning their line with the word local, adding a space, and then adding that variable. And that's all you have to do with that. So stay tuned because coming up on Hacktip, we will be adding some data to our new program to make it even more useful. We're gonna add some more information in there and get around to fixing that report home usage issue that we were having. Until then, I wanna hear your feedback. What programs are you using? Comment below. Be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. And I'll see you next week. Trust your technolust.